Hey friends, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer. I like to make a lot of my own gear. Um, I like making my own packs. I like making my own knives. I like making a lot of stuff. I've even made my own shoes before, sandals. And I just I just enjoy it. It's something about heading off into a remote place and, and relying upon your skills, your knowledge, and gear that you've created with your own two hands. Um, with that said, sometimes, uh, so, well, here's, here's an example. So I've made, I made these two small packs. Here is a backpack drawstring style backpack that I made. And I made this years and years ago, probably, man, I don't know, at least 10 years ago, I'd say. And here's another small man purse style backpack with a wooden toggle that I carved. Um, and they're, they're really, really handy. They work really good. I've had no issues with them. And I treated them with waxed. Uh, I waxed the canvas. This is made out of a kind of a heavy-duty canvas. This backpack is actually two layers thick of canvas, so really, really durable. Um, and I treated it with my homemade wax concoction, and that allows it to be more durable. It also, I've found it to be a lot less likely to get nicks and uh, tears and stuff in it. Stuff doesn't catch on it as easy um, because you're filling up those fibers, you're filling up those small holes with that wax. And it's, it's not only making it more water resistant, it's making it a little bit more durable. And plus, it looks kind of cool. So, and everybody knows that's half the battle. This is probably my favorite everyday carry kind of backpack. This is a Hill People Gear Tara Humara, and it's just the right size for the necessities. Not a lot of room for the want-to-haves, but plenty of room for the have-to-haves, and I like that. So this and these straps on this backpack are by far my favorite. They're really, really comfortable. I can wear this bag all day. And, and have no issues even without a belt. This is not canvas, this is Cordura. And I've never waxed this material before, but I cannot imagine, I can't see why it won't work. I don't see why it won't serve the same purpose. It's not gonna absorb perhaps as much as the cotton canvas material, but I still think the wax will serve its purpose on the Cordura just like it would on the canvas. I use beeswax and boiled linseed oil. In order to melt the wax, heat the stuff up, I need some sort of heat source, and I'm just gonna use this small little alcohol stove from Tokes. I like this thing a lot. It's titanium, it weighs literally, I mean, it's, it is so light. I mean, you would never even notice that's in your pack. It's nice and small and compact. Um, and then I have this titanium Vargo hexagonal wood stove here, and put those things together and you have a very nice way to not only make yourself a brew or something, but also to heat up some wax like that in this metal cup that's just gonna throw away. By the way, if you don't do this in your in your uh, wife's favorite cooking pot or anything like that, because you're probably gonna ruin it, use something that you don't mind destroying. I'm gonna do about a one to four ratio, give or take. Um, that is one, part boiled linseed oil and four parts wax. This is just beeswax, plain bees beeswax, nothing special. So about a one to four ratio, give or take. If you don't have an Exotech fire sleeve, you should think about investing in one because it not only keeps your uh, lighter fire or waterproof if you should happen to go in the drink for whatever reason, uh, but it also saves your fuel because when you have your lighter just floating around in your pocket, you can accidentally depress that button from time to time and you do that enough and the fuel will eventually leak out, rendering your lighter useless. And then once it's fully liquefied, I can take it off of the heat and I can start painting it onto my backpack.
to be kind of quick about it because it is a little bit cooler today and I don't want it to um, cool off too fast. So I'm just gonna brush this stuff on fairly liberally. The bottom too, you wanna make sure you get the bottom because if you set your backpack, backpack down on the ground, lean it up against a tree or something, and you don't do the bottom, you could soak up the wet ground. That's a thing. So it looks kind of like a mess right now. That's okay, no big deal. You've got wax all over the thing. Now usually what I do is I just take, take it off and give it a shake and, and shake off any really loose stuff like that. Super loose stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll come back with a heater. So I'm just gonna use a heat gun. You don't have to use a heat gun. I've done this one by the, I've done it by a fire. I actually did, did this pack by the fire and it worked pretty good. Today we're gonna use a heat gun. So here's what we've resulted in. It's still kind of flaky and stuff where it's dried. I'm gonna rough that up, beat it a little bit, shake off the excess wax that dries on the surface. And then I'm gonna reheat it a few times with that heat gun and to get it to kind of soak in. And what I've noticed from working with this Cordura and um, this wax is that the wax should probably be just a little bit thinner. Maybe use a little bit more linseed oil than you did wax. And, you know, for a material like this, you could just go buy, um, what is that spray on stuff? That we could go buy Scotch Guard, right? Scotch Guard for a material like that would probably work really well. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just enjoy making my own stuff. I like making, making my own gear. I like waterproofing it myself with my own recipes. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm weird, I guess. There's basically the finished product. And what I did was, um, since this wasn't absorbing as much as a typical cotton canvas material, what I did was heat it up with the heat gun and then wipe it gently with the with a just a paper towel, a shop towel, to kind of get rid of some of the excess. And now you've got what you have here. And this is basically <clears throat> ready to go, ready for action. And it's going to be significantly more weather resistant than it was before. The um, it's going to take some time to cure. I mean, you you could probably just hang it up, you know, and let it let it dry out really good for a while. But I'll just probably just start using it and just let it dry as I as I use it, basically, and let it age naturally, if you will. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you're asking questions. Make sure you're leaving comments for me, hitting the thumbs up and subscribing, if you will, if you haven't done so already. I'd be really grateful for that. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Um, if you got video ideas, that's, you know what, one of the hardest parts about being a content creator, if you will, a um, influencer, ugh, I hate that word. Never. I can't stand it. I've been called an influencer before at certain events. That's, uh, don't, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, it, one of the hardest parts of doing what I do is the content, the ideas, coming up with constantly new uh, varieties of ideas to make videos about so it still stays interesting and new. Um, so if you guys have ideas, something that you want to see, something you want to learn about, um, I, 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 yeah, I'm open. I'm an open book. So let's party. Thanks guys. See you next time.